use for my crease and under my brow is Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in Drug Lord. It has a wonderful sponge tip, but also keep your white shadow handy because before this dries, you're going to want to just cake that on. Oh my god. So if you want to go ahead and brush some on your brush so you have it handy. I use La Femme's White. It's the best white that I've ever found. Go ahead and get that nice and wet. And start from the inner. Look at that. See that? Filling in that nude with the white. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Take that brush with that white. Start caking it on. Go back, get more. Cake it in there. Look at that. Look at that white. Bitch. Now which do you want to go with? This one? That one. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to take that white. Take that Jeffree Star White and put it right there. I'm gonna take that same angle brush and we're gonna get a darker brown. It is from the Femme as well, and it's plum brown, and we're gonna swipe that and really go in with that crease now that we have that white. same shadow brush and just smudge that dark brown up. Now to get rid of this harsh white we're going to take that shadow brush back into that cinnamon or slowly start working that back in there just so it's a good transition of the shadows and a good blend and that way it's not completely just a block of white. Now that we have our crease in our inner white good, we're going to take that Jeffrey again, we're going to put it under the brow, and we're going to smudge that down with our finger and blend it into the color, and then we're going to put the white shadow. So make sure this is still wet while you're smudging it down. Take the flat brush with the peach and slowly blend that. All right, now that we've got that all covered, we're going to take Sephora's matte eyeshadow in black lace. We're going to take a nice little shadow brush angled. We're going to dip that in nice and good. We're going to get our cardboard out. Where we took that and put that brown, we're going to place that right there. Slowly pat that black on. Look at how black that is. And slowly work it over into that crease. And down over top of that lid. For my liner, I like to use Tarte's Tardiest Clay Paint Liner. In this fun little tube and it comes with this nice little brush. I like to squeeze a little bit out of the top and dip that brush in there. Get it nice and covered and wet. And take that polar eye and slowly start brushing the black. Set that I'm going to take a flat brush, dip it into that Sephora flat, and just pat it on, covering it while it's still wet. Really intensifies that black eyeshadow and that black liner.
using a loose little brush, you're gonna brush off that excess powder on the nose that I had told you about earlier. We're gonna go ahead and brush off this lighter powder so we can go ahead and put our highlight on and let it set and bake. I need to use a white powder, the whitest white. I'm going to go back to our lighter powder, like that, and then blend it into that white. I'm going to take a flat brush, and we're going to dip it into that peach. I'm going to really shake that nose out. We're going to take the same brush, dip it in our white shadow, and we're going to take that, make a nice line down the middle. We're going to take our nose contour brush from earlier, dip it back into that honey blush, and drag that over top of that white. We're going to take it and put it in a little peachier gold color. With that angle brush, we're going to take the black and slowly drag that over. I've done looks before where you can take that solid black line all the way, but it depends how dramatic you want that crease. Now we're going to take my favorite liner, Palladio, from Sally Beauty Supply, and we're going to do the underliner first. When doing my underliner, I really like that dramatic line that opens up the eye and carrying it out into a line that doesn't meet with my wing. It's just a little out, like so. While this liner's still wet, you're gonna take that black shadow from Sephora and you're gonna Lightly smudge that on right there. Using shadow brush, I'm going to go back into this burgundy. I'm going to slowly brush it underneath of that black. Give that really dramatic smoky look underneath that. And take a little bit of this orange and dip that right in this corner. And slowly blend that out with the burgundy. Going back to the black Palladio liner, we're going to do a corner line from in the nose into the eye. Alright, almost time for lashes. Before I do, I like to use a little mascara. Doesn't matter really what kind, it just wants to get all that excess powder and light color off of your natural lash. So it really blends into the false eyelashes. Alright, now time for lashes. I create my own lashes. And this is about, I think a total of eight pairs of lashes. And I stack them, I cut them, different pairs ranging from 301s to 199s, 304s, if you know anything about lashes, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I also have one of Rockstar Wigs Lashes, which is Yara Sophia's brand up in there. That's those long wispies that you see. I'm gonna take a little black weave bond, 
I prefer the black because the white doesn't always dry clear. And therefore, this is already dark. You can take it into your brush, apply it. I like to have a hair dryer handy for when I put the lash, I'm gonna blow dry it up so it really dries that glue and so it holds it in place. These are very heavy lashes, so I like to use a lot of glue to really get that upward action. Now before putting on my bottom lash, I like to use just a generic white liquid liner from the Beauty Supply. And I'm gonna go in and color this in with white and drag that out and clean that up with the white liquid liner. Now time for the bottom lash, and it is a little baby lash that I've created out of two pairs of eyelashes. We are lashed. So anytime I put on a lash, I really just... Life. I feel my moment, I don't... It's the drama. To finish off the contour and the cheeks, we're gonna add some blush with a brush that I've had since I was 16, and it is Max 123SH, which is the short handle and it is used and abused and is my favorite brush and we're going to use Ben Nye's Media Pro in color Golden Light. Take our brush, brush off our excess powder again. We're going to take our white again and go a little bit in there. I'm gonna take our peachy colors, blend both of those together, and brush that white away. We're gonna go up here and do the same. You're gonna take your loose powder brush, lightly dust that off. We're going to take the brush and we're going to take it into these two browns and really work this up there to find that jaw line. Take our small brown to go work over this. Alright, now it's time for lips. I'm going to take a tissue. I'm going to wipe away the excess foundation on my lip which catches that black and any colors that fall. I'm going to take a red lip liner, I'm going to do a red lip tonight. The main reason I use a lip liner is so I know where I'm going to put my liquid lipstick which I'm about to use, Wifey from Jeffree Star. Then we're going to take red rum from Jeffrey. We're going to rum that right in the middle and blend that into that wifey. That blush brush. We need to blend that very lightly. Now that that Jeffrey is dry, we're going to take Melt It by Too Faced in color I'm Bossy. And we're going to apply that over top to get that really red liquid look.
Now that we're done, we're going to take some setting spray. I prefer to use Cryolon's fixing spray. It seals, it's in an aerosol can. Make sure you don't breathe it in while you're spraying it. It's amazing, it seals it. I dance, I perform, I sweat, but the sweat does not come out of that, so it's definitely a major plus having that. So now it is time for some hair. Alright guys, that does conclude my very first makeup tutorial. OMG. Please don't forget to subscribe to our brand new channel and don't forget to follow me on all of my social media at India Farah on Instagram and Twitter and my Facebook is facebook.com slash official India Farah and any questions, comments, suggestions, any products that you think I should try out or use, please leave in the comment section below and I look forward to hearing from you soon and making more videos.